Hi there, this is Aisha, and of course, thank you. I want to thank you for being on right now so that um, I can just be me, just be myself, and this is always a sweet time for me. I actually spoke with a friend of mine today, and the question was, hey, how come I haven't seen any of your videos? And so truth be told, I did put out a video, what, was it last week? I think it was last week. But I wanted to come on right now uh, because one of the hottest topics right now in my world is regarding a gala that a singles ministry um, that is singles ministry oriented. And three churches have gotten together to plan this. And I champion, of course, singles ministry. And if some of you have seen a lovely video that I was blessed to do uh, with one of a, a YouTuber. Let's talk with Koren. Um, I pray that is I've got it correctly. But basically, I had an opportunity where she invited me to go on and you know be interviewed and speak about singles ministry or or being singles rather over fifty and. Um, I got a wonderful opportunity to share my thoughts on being singles over 50 and dating and all of that stuff. And of course, if you've watched that, then you know that I would love, if it's God's will, to be able to be either engaged or married by the end of this year. And I believe, as I said in the interview, and I will connect the interview, just tag it so that you'd be able to watch it, that if it's God's wish that... Um, my being single lengthens into another year or however time he deems to present my partner to me, then that's okay because I know whatever he's got in mind for me is the best and I deserve nothing but the best and he wants to bless his children with the best. But if it's some, if there is something that I need to do and I'm not doing, then of course I want to be able to do that and I am aware and I pray that you are aware that out of the abundance of the heart, our mouth speaks. And we are a subtotal of who we are and what we say. And we need to be able to speak things into existence and call those things that be not as though they were. And if we know the words and the word, and if we know that he's a keeper of his word, then we know, oh, don't get me preaching right now. I, as I'm speaking, I feel as if I'm preaching. But it's the truth, right? We know whose we are. And because of that, we know what he's capable of. And he, he's been very clear, you know, that he wants us to prosper and be in good health. And it was his desire to allow us and to assist us in living fully, abundantly full. And so when Adam was in the garden and he was created and he was able to see all the animals and all the creatures with their two and you know partners god sensed and he knew that this was something that he had to fulfill as well for adam and hence he placed him to sleep and provided his eve and so it is all natural do you want more scriptures on that well i don't know uh paul talked about the fact that it's better to be married than to burn you put that however you wish. But number one, we're not to be married or get married just because we want to have, you know, that special person to, you know, consummate the marriage or to be physically active or whatnot. But if it is a desire of yours, it is natural. And if it's something that would add to your life, then God wants that for you as well. And if it's something that's, causing you to sin if you're out there fornicating and, and you can't keep your hands to yourself and you want a partner and, and you know and all that stuff then God wants that for you too and he prefers that you have your own mate than to be sexually active you know without the credentials let's say now being married and having that paper does that mean that a person wouldn't cheat or anything like that no but it's a covenant, and if you're a keeper of your word and a covenant, then you will keep 
that promise to your partner. And so, yeah, listen, I don't even know how I got off on this tangent. But yes, um, so this all came about, this whole thing, because there is a gala that's coming up on the 28th of this month. It will be held in Brampton, and if anyone is watching online and you happen to be from Toronto, Ontario, and you're looking for a Christian event to go to, you know, there are parties around town every every week, every weekend, you know, maybe probably even weekdays. But this is a Christian event affair. This is a gala or gala, and um, it's it's something where people will be coming out in their very best and I'm sure it's going to be something beautiful to behold and yes I plan on being there now the only question is as all the ladies like to try and figure out and the men as well what am I going to wear what are you going to wear if you're going so yes I have to decide on what it is that I'm going to wear because of course I want to be dressing my best um, so that's going to be a fun time and it's something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to come and talk about that. Uh, but you know what? The whole singles, it's been leading to a lot of discussions because um, some I've been going around and, and supporting another church in getting this off the ground, this whole gala. And we've been coming in communication with a lot of individuals for whom if they're getting to know somebody, talking with someone to get to know them on that level, they're considering themselves to be not available to attend a singles ministry event. And we all have our varied ideas and opinions on things, but listen, if a ring is not on your finger, it's so important that we use this time to, as a lot of people like to say, um, use it as a way of... Um, and as an interview, right? Find out how you click with the other person. And, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Sure, the guy might be wonderful, but there are many wonderful people out there. What else do you know or don't know? So take this time to, you know, I, I, I'm i old school, so, you know, I'm accustomed to getting to know one guy and then seeing where that goes and then take it from there. But listen, you and I both know that sometimes... If you leave it up to the guy, that could take a year. It could take two years. And half of that time, it's not even stipulated. Nothing is said as to where exactly is this relationship going. And so sometimes as women, we could see, a lot of the times, right? Who am I kidding? We could see down the road and we're thinking, oh, we're going to do this and it's going to go this way and I'm going to plan this dress and we're going to get this and we're going to be married. And the guy is not even there yet. He's not even halfway there. And if he is and he's not yet indicated and said anything, then for the most part, we've got our answers, right? Means maybe he's going to be ready for whatever it is you're expecting, but probably not with you and probably not anytime soon because he's too comfortable and getting everything that he needs. So ladies, we've got a lot, of, lot to think about. And yes, so, you know, whether you're married or single, you know, we're always thinking the grass is greener on the other side. But um, that's life, right? It keeps us on our toes. But if you're single, you're single. And when that person, you know, your Boaz, you know, decides, your Adam, whatever you want to deem it, whenever he's ready and capable and says, okay, I would like you to be my wife, you know, and he gets down on his knees or not, you know, um, then... That's when you know, with that ring on your finger, and even up to the altar, that's when you know. And then beyond that, it's a matter of him keeping his word and you keeping your word as well. But in terms of being single, yes, if he's not verbally indicated anything, put any ring on your finger and no marriage counseling, no pre-engagement rather, or engagement counseling, uh, whatever it is, you know, then don't go planning ahead without the guy, right? And you make sure that it's, cemented and for sure because then you would be putting all your eggs in one basket and we have to trust that that gentleman is being sincere because ladies come on wake up right we love the brothers but a man is a man is a man so unless he's really dedicated to christ and a stand-up guy 
if you say no, someone else is going to say yes. And, you know, if and when you're ready, he's going to be ready. But in the meantime, someone else will be saying yes to him. So we need to protect yourself while we look forward to and prepare ourselves in that opportunity where we can connect and love that man that God will send for us. But yes, this is such an interesting topic. And that's why when we look to, as Seventh-day Adventists I am, I can't speak for the other uh, churches, but as a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, when we have the singles ministry, you know, it means different things to different people and they're coming into being a part of this ministry for different reasons, but it's all under one umbrella, the singles ministry. It doesn't mean that only desperate people go there and there's no need to be desperate. We have a need and others might deem it as desperate because you want to find someone. Really? No, we're all on a different path. Some people want to travel and live and spend their money that they work for. If you have it like that, God bless you. Not all of us do. Um, for some, uh, maybe you don't want to have children. You don't want to have a family. Maybe you don't want to have a man. You don't want to have a husband. You don't, you're don't. you not ready for that. Some people are. So we're all on different pathways and we just have to support each other. But at the end of the day, if you're not married, then it's important to realize and recognize that the singles ministry is an umbrella under which you would be able to be ministered to and you would be able to connect with other like-minded uh, singles and we could support one another on that path leading to wherever or keeping us right um so i don't know listen this is my spiel i'm glad that you checked in you got a chance to listen and it's just another thought it's another opinion and if you've got other ideas and thoughts and such that you want to share and enlighten, please do because I am growing, I am single, and looking to mingle and get to know, you know, who will be my Boaz. I am ready for that special man who wants to say, yes, I will make you my wife or I would love to make you my wife. Will you, right? Whether or not he wants you to be his wife, that's, that's wonderful. But do you want to say yes? Don't, we're not expecting and we should not jump and say yes to someone just because they ask you that question. It's a wonderful question. I've been engaged before. It's a lovely question. But what do you want? What do you want? If both of you are on the same page, wonderful. But listen, life is so precious and so beautiful. So when you're choosing, choose wisely. Let it be someone who's kind, caring, someone who wants you to have the platform. Like myself, I love to speak. I know, you know, that um, I, I really love it when I can connect with someone who is intelligent, uh, wise, yet not so insecure that they can't allow me the platform to shine because I know as much as they do, um, sometimes more, sometimes less. But if it's less, that's perfect. I love to learn, right? Um, but yeah. God bless and keep you. This is Aisha, and thank you so much for checking in. Now, I am not all about this. You know that. I have a business for Try Paper Play, and you could find me at trypaperplay.com or just type in Try Paper Play. And right here, you've got an opportunity to see my journals and such that I make, or an Etsy junk journals for you. And perhaps you don't care about journaling or keeping a note or sermon notes or any of those things but you can get one or two or three or four and share it with someone else. So I look forward to having orders for my journals and having you share my platform with as many people as possible. Take care, God bless, and thank you for listening. Bye.